Hey, I'm Christy. Have you ever had to forgive somebody? I have. And I'll be honest, it wasn't easy. When we forgive others, we're telling them that we won't keep remembering the things that they did that might have hurt us. And when we have to apologize for something, it's hard too. We have to say we're sorry. But we have to remember that God forgives us all the time. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us so we could be forgiven from the sins in our lives. And when he forgives us, he frees us from our punishment. We should remember this so that we can forgive others. When we forgive, we don't have to carry that heavy feeling. Forgiveness sets us free. And that reminds me of our memory verse for this series. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commands. Psalm 119, 45. Let's go see what adventures Bluey and Stewie are up to. Oh, what's up, Stewie? Are you ready for work today? Oh, you betcha, brother. Hey, wait a minute, what's today? Well, it's a holiday and the weekend. This place is gonna get really busy. Ow, oh, no worries, my dude, we got this, hands down. I'm such a good baggage checker person, got the tags here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Okay, well, I, I have to admit, I am a little nervous, though. Oh, follow my lead, follow my lead. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 Stewie, that bag was supposed to have a red tag. Uh, oh, brother, th that one over there, that was supposed to be on a flight going to Canada. How many are wrong? I don't know! Ah! Oh no, what do we do now? Well, you know what, I think that you should fix it since this is all your fault. You didn't tell me that all this baggage is going to Canada. Ah! 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 Come here, I'm gonna get you! Ah! Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, fine. Uh, let's just, let's just stop, and let's just try and figure out a way to, uh, to figure this out, to fix this. Together. All right, all right, good idea. Hey, but first, I'm gonna take a nap because I'm really tired from being chased around by you. Ugh. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Let's call Christy, maybe she can help. Uh, she knows all about baggage. Christy! Help! Christy! Do you hear that? I think my phone is ringing. Give me one second. Oh. Yeah, what's, yeah, yeah, I know about baggage. Oh, you mean like airplane baggage? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I hear you, Bluey. Yeah, I hear you too, Stewie, but it sounds like you guys need to work through your emotional baggage before you can deal with the airplane baggage. Don't you worry. I'll make sure that you can hear everything in this teaching. All right, everybody, listen up. Bluey and Stewie are in an argument right now. I'm not sure who's right or who's wrong, but what I do know is that both of them have a very important job to do in order to make this better. One of them has to be forgiven and the other has to forgive. And both of those can be really hard to do. But forgiveness is important. When we carry around guilt for what we've done in our past or anger about what others have done to us, we can feel really heavy. Just think about Bluey carrying around those heavy bags. You might not actually be carrying around bags, but when we don't forgive others and we hold on to grudges, it doesn't feel good. Forgiving others or asking for forgiveness lifts that weight off of our shoulders. It feels so much better because we're willing to let go of the things weighing us down. So let's all say, forgiveness sets me free. Ready? Forgiveness sets me free. Sometimes when we have to apologize for something, we can be worried that the other person will be too mad or upset to forgive us. And that can be kind of scary. It can also maybe feel embarrassing that we did something wrong, so it can be easy to expect the worst. Well, I have a Bible story straight from the New Testament about a son who made a big mistake and was definitely expecting the worst. It can be found in Luke chapter 15. Let's dive into it. There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. Hold on. This is crazy so far. This son knew that when his father would pass away, he would get part of his father's estate, or money. But instead of waiting, he told his dad he wanted the money right now. He didn't even want to have a relationship with his dad anymore. It's really sad. So his dad gave him the money, 
What did he do with it? He spent all of it. It was all gone. Let's keep reading. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Wow, that definitely seems like a pretty big mistake. His father gave him so much money, he wasted it all. And then he ended up hungry and couldn't buy any food. He was working in the field and he was so hungry that he wanted to eat what the pigs had to eat. That's kind of gross. The son needed to learn about our one thing. Forgiveness sets me free. Ready, say that with me. Forgiveness sets me free. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. The son realized that he needed to go to his dad and apologize. He needed to say he was sorry then maybe his dad would forgive him and allow him to be one of his servants. At least then he would have food. Well, let's see what the father says. But the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. How amazing is that? The father wasn't upset at all. He was just happy that his son was back home and safe. He forgave his son. Forgiveness sets me free. Say that with me. Forgiveness sets me free. It's the same thing with God. That's crazy. No matter how far we stray from him or don't work on building a relationship with him, when we turn back to God and we say we're sorry for doing wrong and sinning, he welcomes us with open arms. He will never be angry at us for coming back to him, no matter how long we're away. The best part is that he forgives us every time. We don't have to have the weight of our mistakes holding us back or being a burden on our shoulders. We can let all of that baggage go. Forgiveness sets me free. Let's say that together. Forgiveness sets me free. When we don't apologize for something or we don't forgive someone, it can make us feel heavy. That's called baggage. And everyone has that because we're not perfect beings and we make mistakes. We need to remember that when we apologize to others and when we forgive others, we're gonna feel so much better. God forgives us all the time. When we sin and do wrong, we just have to ask God to forgive us. And he does. He gave his son Jesus on the cross to forgive us. And that's pretty amazing. So if God forgives us, we should forgive others in our lives. Forgiveness sets me free. Let's say that together. Forgiveness sets me free. This week, I want you to think of one person who you need to forgive. Maybe they made you upset or hurt your feelings. Even if they didn't apologize, forgive them. Don't carry around that heavy feeling of not forgiving. Remember that God forgives us and we should forgive others so we can be free from that heavy feeling. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you forgive us when we sin. Thank you that we can come to you and ask for forgiveness. Help me to always forgive others in my life. And if you haven't made Jesus the leader of your life, you can do that with me right now. Just pray. Dear God, I recognize I've sinned and I've done wrong, and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to accept your forgiveness. Come and be the leader of my life. Amen. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, wait. I hear my phone again. That's right. Guys, I got to go help Blooming Stewie. I'll see you next time. Yeah? Did you learn a lot? You know you gotta forgive each other now, right? Ah, uh, what a beautiful lesson. Oh, it really was. And you know what? I forgive you, Stewie. Oh, thank you. I forgive you too, brother. Uh, but I didn't do anything. Uh, now, now, didn't you hear Christy's lesson? There are always two swords to an argument. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. I'm sorry for blaming you for the baggage getting mixed up too. Hey, you know what? Should we try to work together and get this fixed? I'm on it. Wow, you know, this is actually a lot easier now, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? Maybe we'll get everything done even before Christy even gets here. <laughs>